Hey, this is Danielle Adler with San Diego Youth Science. Have you ever been kite flying? Well, today we're going to talk about the amazing rocky intertidal habitat and how to go kite flying. It's an amazing way to find some of our local species of invertebrates at the beach. So first of all, what you want to do is have the proper shoes on. You want to have some shoes that will protect your feet and also not let you slip and fall. And as you walk across the inner tide pool, you want to keep your center of gravity low and look for animals. So if we start looking right here, down below, I see a lot of hermit crabs. In between the rocks and the tide pools, these are blue clawed hermit crabs here. And if we get a hand flat and put a little water in our hands, we can generally entice the hermit crab to come out. Sometimes, oh, and this one has some white spiral worms on its shell. Sometimes if we hold the shell with the crab at an angle, the hermit crab will start to come out. This one looks like it's not, not wanting to be too social today. So we'll see about another one here. Let's see if this little guy will come out to visit. You might start to see the blue color on their claws when they begin to come out and then their eyes up on stalks. Let's see if he's gonna come. You can look at all the animals that are hanging out on its shell too, the white worms on the tip there, the spiral worms. Oh, here it comes. You can see the antenna and its eyes. It's wanting to right its shell. So it's grabbing onto my thumb just a little bit. Now we'll let, let this guy go back into the water here. Another way to look for animals in the tide pool is to turn over rocks. So let's look here and see. This one's kind of nice and flat, and I notice it has um, some growth on the side here of some tube worms. So there might be a lot of diversity under this rock. So if I keep my center of gravity low and lift it very carefully, you never know what you're going to find. Now on this one, there's actually a chitin that's curling up here. A chitin is a really ancient species of organisms. They're actually mollusks and they have shells with uh, plates that cover their back. And this chitin has curled up into a ball to protect itself from us, from the predator. So we'll let this guy go back here. Um, but they are responsible for eating a lot of the algae off the rocks here. I'm gonna put him right back there. Let's see if we can flip over another rock here. And I happen to bring a little uh, tide pool bin here, bucket to put some animals in. And I'll make sure I put these animals back when we're done. We have some blue clawed hermit crabs and we have a nice little snail here that we can take a look at. Oh, and there's a shore crab on its shell, riding on the snail shell. The snail pulled its muscle foot in, closing that operculum what other rocks we can find. Now one thing to note when you turn over rocks, this one here, someone may have turned it over and not righted it back because we can see that there are dried out animals that are on this top side of the rock that shouldn't be there. So someone must have flipped this rock over, exposing those animals and forgotten to turn it back. So you want to make sure you turn those rocks back when you're done so that the animals can survive. Let's try this one. Oh, we have some snails holding on. We have some nice limpets here, which is a type of a snail. We have tube snails, spiral worms. Whoops, the little guy's falling off there. Lots of diversity. Let's put this one back and see what else we can find. Sometimes it just takes a little patience. That one definitely had some more snails on it. But we're looking, we're gonna look for some echinoderms. We're gonna see if we can find some brittle sea stars today. There's a little short crab scurrying away, some snails. 